I'm going to show you a technique for creating and storing a signature. You can also use this technique for adding a copyright notice or a watermark to your photographs. The technique begins by adding a text layer to the photograph. Go over here, select the text tool. You want to double check up here on the options bar what your settings are for the text. I generally recommend using some kind of a script font. In this case, I've chosen Freestyle Script. You might prefer some other. Feel free to experiment. 48 points will make a very large visible signature here. When we actually save this as a custom shape, we'll be able to resize it later. And then you can choose whatever you like for the alias setting here. I've chosen smooth, and you'll probably want white as your text color. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to mark out a rectangular area, and I'm going to type in my signature. There's my text layer. The second step is to convert this from a text layer into a shape layer. And I have a couple of options here. We can do this from the layer menu. I regret this is going to run off the edge of the screen here, but the option you would want to select is convert to shape. The other option is to go over here to the layer menu item and underneath there, select type and the option again, convert to shape. So we've taken our text layer and we've converted it into a shape layer. Step three is to save this now as a custom shape. We do that underneath the edit menu item and we select define custom shape. Give it a name, whatever you like. I'm going to call mine signature. And now if we select the custom shape tool, we'll be able to see our new custom shape. And there it is. It will be added to the end of whatever set of custom shapes you currently have open. Now Photoshop hasn't actually saved this in a file that you could back up or that you could copy to a new version of Photoshop. It's saved in its internal catch. I strongly urge that you go ahead and save your current set of custom shapes in a file and that way you'll have a backup copy in case Photoshop gets corrupted or for later when you update your version of Photoshop. Just simply go over here and select Save Shapes and give the file whatever name you like. Since I was dealing with the default shapes from Photoshop, I'm just going to call mine Default. So let's go ahead, let's delete the layer, and let's make certain that our new custom shape is going to work. Go over here, select the new custom shape, and drag it out onto the photograph. You can make it larger, smaller, wider, narrower. Right now it's a shape. Let's go ahead, let's click on the background layer so we can actually see it as a signature. Now with white at full opacity like this, the signature stands out. And it's not positioned all that well either. So let's go ahead and let's look at some basic embellishments that we can add to our signature. One of the first embellishments we might want to add is to rotate the text. Rather than have it be a straight horizontal line, that's easy enough to do. Go back to our shape layer here, go over to edit, select transform, and then select rotate. We can now rotate the text. We can drag the text wherever we want. Click the check mark, and now the signature is diagonal along one corner of the photograph. The white text still stands out a little more than I'd like, and so for the next step, let's open up the Layer Style panel. Find that underneath Blending Options. Again, I regret this is going to run off the edge of the screen for you. Let's start by adding a color overlay. Not too thrilled with red here, so instead let's make that white. I'm going to leave this opacity at 100%. Here's I'm going to go back up here to the Blending Options, and I'm now going to reduce the opacity to something like, oh, 50%, and the Fill Opacity to something more like 20%. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to add a drop shadow, multiply is good, opacity of 50%. I'm going to set the distance at something like 85. You could adjust that to your taste, size 15, that works fine. And the last step will be the bevel and emboss. I'm going to go ahead and select emboss. I want a depth of 100, size of 5, soften 0, that's fine. Minus 30, 30, screen of 75, multiply 75, everything looks fine here. Now, rather than clicking OK at this point, it's possible to save this layer style so that we can use it over and over again. Just as we can reuse the signature, we can reuse the layer style. As a word of warning, you're going to want to do that. Because again, layer styles, just like with the custom shapes, are stored in a catch. If you want to be able to reuse them and Photoshop crashes, you'll be out of luck. And if you want to be able to reuse them in a new version of Photoshop, you'll also need a copy stored on your hard drive. So in order to save this new style, simply go up to the button under New Style and give it a name. In this case, I'm going to give it the name Signature. And now I have a version stored on my hard drive that I can reload into Photoshop if necessary or that I can load into a new version of Photoshop. And so there we have it. An embellished signature, easy to modify. We can go over, change any of these settings, just double click on them, and we can reuse this signature on any photograph. I hope you find this technique for creating and reusing a signature helpful with your digital photography. I'm Glenn Mitchell from thelightsright.com. Cheers.